And here's United States Congressman Mike Rogers, the Republican from Brighton, on the other end of our line. Good morning to you, sir. Michael, it is always good to talk to you, sir. Why, thank you. I understand that as soon as you get off the radio here in the state of Michigan, you're going to be giving a, a bit of a speech at a breakfast, huh? Uh, do it at breakfast this morning, you bet. Okay, well, thank you All for All concerned the... folks who want to get Michigan turned around and get people back to work and... We want to put profit back into business. I know that's a bad word uh, these days, but uh, without it, good things don't happen everywhere. I just heard uh, something on the way in, and I don't have the details in front of me, but it said that federal workers uh, are, are very well paid comparatively against the, uh, against the marketplace and that they continue to get increases and raises. And the average federal worker was making something like $120,000 a year versus 61,000, something like that, in the, in the uh, private sector? Yeah, it is uh, completely out of whack. And if you remember, at one time, the, one of the sales pitches for, for the federal workforce was, yeah, you don't make as much as you do on the private sector, but you have certainty of your job, you have fulfillment, you have uh, uh, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, we give you a good benefit package. Well, that has just absolutely blown out of proportion. Uh, and guess this is the scary part. The only job growth sector, uh, real uh, percentage job growth sector last year was the federal government. Mm. So the, you have people who are not making as much growing the beast that uh, absolutely has to be fed by everybody making on average 61000 And that's including the benefit package. I think the, the uh, average or median wage in the United States last year was about $41,000 a year. Mm -hmm. So you think about the, the growing difference. And by the way, that's the same in state government. So mm -hmm. we've got to get back to this notion that the state government uh, is supposed to be a public service uh, and not supposed to get you wealthy uh, mm -hmm. along the way. And that's that's a concern for for those of us who are very worried about the debt and the deficit and the growing largesse and cost of your government. Speaking of getting wealthy, uh, the state here in Michigan is going to get a bit of a windfall from the federal government and from the taxpayers, according to that bill signed yesterday by President Obama. That's going to help us with the budget shortfall, I guess, uh, more than $300 million into the state's public schools and um, $700 million total, as I understand it. Governor Granholm thanked members of Congress yesterday for passing that legislation. Did you vote for it? I did not, and uh, let me tell you why. A couple of things. One... Even on the education portion, there is uh, a provision in this bill that says to the state of Michigan, we're going to give you this money, but you have to spend in addition to what you spent last year. And you can't make any cuts, any corrections. You can't do a rainy day fund. You can't do debt oh. rec uh, reconsolidation. Mm -hmm. None of that. Uh, you have to just spend the money, and which is exactly what has gotten us in trouble. So they don't allow for any flexibility uh, in that money other than throwing money at a problem that we know uh, has to be dealt with. And it just pro prolongs. Now the governor, of course she likes it, won't have to deal with the problems, the structural deficit problems in the state for another year. And here's the other part. This is deficit spending. This year now we are going to top $1.5 trillion in deficit spending. That's not debt. That's deficit spending. And when you add up last year, that's more deficit spending than all of the other presidents of the United States combined, all of them. And that ought to take people's breath away, And which means we're going to have to borrow it from China, we're going to have to borrow it from Saudi Arabia, we're going to hope that Russia lends us a little money so that we can keep feeding the beast here without any correction. The other part of it is they also raise taxes on businesses who are struggling to keep their doors open. This, I mean, when you look at the underlying uh, financial responsibility of this, it's dangerous to the future. If you want to help teachers, uh, if you want to help state budgets, you have to get businesses employing people, not the government uh, and not borrowing from China. And this bill, unfortunately, does both of those. Well, let's say that uh, you were king for a day or president for a lifetime or, or whatever you have it. I mean, what would you do to get businesses back in action? We, you know, we, we, I meet with small business people on this program every single day, sometimes in groups in our mid-Michigan business wrap, and, and they all say the same thing to me, that, you know what, the government isn't really going to be able to do much to, uh, to convince me to hire people. I'm going to hire people when I need them. Exactly. And when they have the capital to do it. Mm -hmm. What 
the, the what has happened in the last couple of years is they put so much uncertainty into the cost of your business. And at the end of the day, a small business owner has to say, this is what I think my revenue is, and this is what I think uh, I can afford to spend, and I don't have anywhere to go to print money in the basement or borrow it like the federal government. So they're making those decisions on hiring and non-hiring based on what they think their costs are going to be and their growth is going to be. With all of the uncertainty, cap and trade, the largest energy tax in the history of the country still laying on the table, with the health care bill that they think will cost hundreds of billions of dollars to companies all across the country laying on the table. They're not sure what their true costs are going to be. With all of the new regulation, with all of those new costs hanging out there, they're thinking, I can't hire someone. Uh, With the government borrowing so much money that it competes with local businesses being able to borrow capital to invest in themselves has created a longer recession. And matter of fact, if you notice with job employments, Michael, this thing is only getting worse. So what I would do is take away all that uncertainty. I would say, listen, we don't want to be the highest uh, corporate income tax in the world. Actually, we're second highest next to Japan, except they're talking about lowering it, which would make us the highest corporate income tax in the world. Hmm. We need to be more competitive. So let's get out of their way. The best program we can do is let a small business be a small business, let them employ people, let them make money, uh, and at the end of the day, that's good for teachers, it's good for students, it's good for the healthy economy, uh, and it's an easy thing to do, and it won't make us go to China to borrow the money. I know you have to go, but real quickly, do you know Rick Snyder at all? Uh, I do know Rick Snyder. I had worked with him uh, years ago, and I served on a commission with him uh, in Ann Arbor on trying to getting angel capital uh, into the state. I think he's going to be a great governor. I think uh, we're going to have an opportunity here uh, to get out of the way of business and somebody who's, who really means business uh, so that we can get this state turned around. I, I, I'm very excited that uh, when we had a lot of great candidates. We, got a, we have a great candidate for governor, and I think this is going to be a great year for people who still believe in the state of Michigan and believe that there's a better tomorrow than there is today. Okay. Thank you very much. For, we appreciate the time, and we'll talk again soon. Hey, thanks, Michael. Congressman Mike Rogers. So the governor will withdraw his name from her thanks to members of Congress for passing the legislation because he didn't vote for it.